Coates and I'm the head teacher at Gowan School. This is a brief introduction to the sequence you're going to see on all aspects of Gowan School and how we work, how we interact and how we work together as a team with the North Gowan Partnership. We look forward to seeing you at some time in the next year where you can come and visit and walk around the school but we also hope that you decide when you come to Gowden, you realise that Gowden is just not like any other school that I've worked in. Gowden School is an institution more than a school. If you join Gowden School, you become a Gowdenian automatically. And the Gowdenian age range goes from literally 11 years of age to 90 plus years of age. And that separates us from many other schools. So I hope you enjoy what you're going to see. I hope you get a sense of what we try to do at Gowden. And we still try to stick to the school motto of I can, I shall, I will. And also we try to simplify and say, just be the best that you can be. And everything we do at this school is geared to ensure that you can be the best that you can be in whatever you decide to do. Welcome to Gowerton School. My name is Kathleen Lawler and I'm the Deputy Head Teacher here at Gowerton. We look forward to welcoming you to be involved in the many extracurricular activities that we hold here at Gowerton. We have sports, we have drama, music, art. There are so many that you can do in lunch times and after school. We hope when you come to Gowerton that you will take part in these events. We also have trips to Austria skiing, to Disneyland Paris, to Glanclin, Llangranog. There are so many. So we look forward to seeing you here at Gowerton. Miss Myrick and I'm the Inclusion Manager here at Gowerton School. It's my job to help support pupils who have received support in the past in their primary schools from the AL Encore there. And that might be in terms of reading or spelling, handwriting, managing your time for example, or even organising yourself effectively. Hello Year 6, my name is Miss Bath Jones and I'm the ALN Support Officer here at Gowerton. My job is to coordinate the support through teaching assistance and specialised equipment that Miss Myrick will go on to tell you about. You can find me on the yard some, some days where I do duty and then most days, along with Miss Lawler, we go walking in the community um, with our club known as the Trash Alligators, uh, which is a lovely place to come and make friends. As well as clubs, we offer a really wide range of support such as in-class support through teaching assistance. Some of our dyslexic pupils have coloured overlays or even coloured tinted glasses. Uh, reading rulers, pen grips and all sorts of specialist stationery, if, of course, you need it. At Gowerton, we're a great school. Everybody's so helpful and friendly. If you see us around, please don't forget to say hello. We're based in B3 and we really look forward to seeing you. We never forget a friendly face. Hi, I'm Mrs Davis. I'm the Head of Department at B at Gowton School and I'm here this morning to introduce you to some of our equipment. So at the moment, we're in the weights room. Now this is a room that you use for your health, fitness and wellbeing lessons. You'll have access to all the equipment that we've got in here and we'll be in here on regular occasions during the week to make sure that you can develop your fitness, develop your strength and enjoy the exercise that you're doing. Welcome to the sports hall. This is our main PE area. We use this, as you can see, things like basketball, the netball, for our indoor football. And we use this space for lots of fitness work. It's a fantastic area, particularly, as you can see by the white markings on the floor, to do our racket sports, to do our badminton and some of our indoor tennis. Welcome again to one of our outside facilities. This is our school tennis court. We've got some of our tennis nets up already. This is also used for your lessons in the winter term, for some netball, 
for some football and anything that we can do that we require to get you outside, get you moving, keeping you active, keeping you fit. This is our red bra. Um, for those of you who are playing hockey on a Friday night, down with Miss Morgan, this is where your hockey experience will continue. In the summer term, there's a lovely four lane track that's put on here for all of our athletes. Now I know when you come to Gowerton School, not all of you love and enjoy your sport. I know that is for the majority, but not for everybody. One of our main aims as P department in Gowerton Sport is using these facilities that you've seen so far to get you engaged in your sport, to get you enjoying your sport, and to find you something that you love and take part in right throughout your time at Gowerton and once you leave. These are to be ambitious, capable learners, to be ethically informed citizens, to be healthy, confident individuals, and also to be enterprising, creative contributors. These are the core purposes as set out in the Welsh curriculum. In lessons in year seven, you will be having a range of teaching and learning experiences. These are based on the pedagogical principles from the new Welsh curriculum. So within a lesson, you may be having some blended teaching and learning. You may be looking at the power of effort and a positive mindset. You will be building on prior knowledge. These are all part of the pedagogical principles. When we were planning and preparing for the new curriculum, we thought we need a character to help us to understand the pedagogical principles. So we looked at mindset and the power of effort and we thought, what can we do? So we created Kanga and now he is used in all our North Gower partnership schools. He helps us to understand the new curriculum. I'm Mrs King and I'm Head of Year 7 here at Gowden School. My main aim, especially in the first few weeks, is to help you settle in, make new friends and find your way around. As time goes on, another important aspect of my role is to monitor your academic progress to help you all achieve the very best that you can. Pastoral care is extremely important to us here at Gowden and we have a large team of pastoral support staff here at school who can help you with any problems at school or at home. Something that might be a little bit new to you is the concept of having a school planner. You'll all be given a garden school planner when you arrive here in September and it'll be your responsibility to keep this safe during your time here with us. At the start of the planner, one of the first things you will do when you join the school is copy in or stick in your timetable. Obviously, this will be a new concept to you, having to follow a two-week timetable. So there are two pages here where you can write or stick in your timetable to refer to on a daily basis. We also have a school calendar with all the important dates for things that are going on during the academic year here at Gowerton. Next, of course, we have reminders of our school rules and our home school contract. Next will be the most important pages for you in your planner. These pages are where you record your homework. As you can see, you write down the name of the subject, some details of the homework and the due date. Towards the back of the planner are a selection of pages to help you with a variety of subjects from English and maths to science. I hope this has given you a bit of an insight of how you will use your planner when you join us here at Gowerton School. I'm Child Welfare Manager at Gowerton and um, you will find me here in Goval which is our Health and Wellbeing Centre um, so we're here to help you and give you you know any sort of information and advice that you may need so please just come and have a chat and it'd be lovely to meet you um, take care see you next year. Hi I'm Mr. I work in Goval uh, as Behaviour Support 
So I'm here to support all people's um, help when I can. Hi, I'm Miss Griffiths and I work in Gorval and I'm here to help you with anything you might need. My name is Mr Richard and I'm resources manager here at Gowden School. Now when you come up to Gowden School it will be my job to make sure that your school day runs as smoothly as possible every day. You will notice some big changes when you move up to Gowden School with your school day. You will be following your own personal timetable where you will be attending five lessons a day. Broken down into two lessons in the morning followed by your break, another two lessons followed by your lunch and then after lunch you have one further lesson at a chance at the end of the day in your form time to reflect on everything you've done with your own personal form tutor. You'll be going into many different classrooms, different blocks. You won't be staying in the same classroom for the day. We are quite a big school, but there is no need to worry about getting lost or not being able to find your way. Every room has a name on it. It has your teacher's name and the room number. Every block is labelled. But more importantly, everybody is incredibly friendly here at Gowan School. So if you do find yourself a little bit confused as to where a room is, do not be afraid to ask another one of the pupils in the corridors, ask a member of staff, everybody is incredibly friendly and will help you on your way. You do not need to worry at all about getting lost. There will be many different events and opportunities that you will be able to take part in. Sporting tournaments, instrumental days, and of course some of you may have already been involved in our last Brangwyn Festival and hopefully you're looking forward to 2021 where we will have our next one and it will be a very special one as we'll be celebrating 125 years of Gowden School. So hopefully some, that is something that you will be looking forward to taking part in. Mr. Will Thomas, I'm head of Key Stage 3 at Gowden and part of the extensive pastoral team. I'll be working with Mrs. King uh, when you arrive uh, in Year 7 to make sure you settle in well. Um, I thought I'd introduce you today to the uh, outside area which you'll be using during your break and lunchtime uh, in Gowden. Uh, we generally keep the Year 7s to the front lawn area. Uh, where you'll be able to come during your break and lunch to enjoy some uh, relaxing time during this. from primary to secondary. How does Gowden compare to primary school? Well, I think that um, in primary we had about two or three lessons a day and we always used to like carry it on after break or lunch. But we have two lessons in the morning and there's more, um, and then two after the break. Mm -hmm. And then after lunch there was one other lesson. So I like the variety of lessons and it's not just sort of like all humanities in one day, or all of his, like history or something in one day, it was just sat classes that are entirely different in many ways. So you like that variety of different subjects every hour, yeah? What about you, Lilith Bea? Now you came from a primary school where you were the only one coming to Gowden. How did you feel about coming here by yourself? And, and how do you feel about Gowden School now? How have your feelings changed? Well, at first coming to Gowden, it was a bit daunting because I didn't know anybody. But like once I've started like talking to people, I've now got like three different groups of friends, and I'm quite comfortable with them. And do you feel like you've been at Gowden School forever? <laughs> yes. 
And Marley, now I know you like lots of different subjects. What would you say your favourite subjects are here at Gallatin? Um, my favourite subject is probably history. And I do enjoy humanities as well because it's a mix of all three, RE, geography and history. So it's interesting when you get to practice lots of different skills. And then Tom, what do you think about that? What's your favourite thing about the school? Um, my favourite thing about the school probably is the Food. The food! Because there's a wide variety and it is all better than primary. Oh my goodness me. And what's your favourite food here at Gallery? What is the best thing they sell? Pizza baguette. The pizza baguette. Okay then, Kai. Being bloody feather, I'm a cabalized dear like sport. What do you think about the sport facilities here at Gowden, please? I like the sports because we've got all these different areas I can go to, like the front fields, the red grass, the sports hall and the fitness room. I like the sports because you've got more uh, variety of them, like you can do cricket, rugby, and football. I've joined the rugby team and we go on all these different tours and uh, tournaments and games. Okay then, Ellen, now I know you're part of a very important group here at Gallatin called the Trash Alligators. Now they do something that support, supports the environment. Can you explain what they do please, Ellen? Um, every lunch we go out to um, pick up litter and um, get our up. And why do you enjoy being part of this group so much? Um, because um, I get to talk to my friends and um, get my steps up. So, yeah, so it's a mixture of social and a bit of exercise along the way and helping the environment. Well done, Ellen, you're doing really well. Now then, Vanessa, what have been your favourite subjects in starting the garden? My favourite subjects have definitely been art and photography since they were already hobbies of mine, so they've just helped me improve more. In art, I've been able to improve my shading and anatomy, and in photography, we've been learning to use Photoshop, and a lot of those skills I can apply to my digital art, which is very helpful. Mm, Diane, she's a very artistic. Amia. Have you been lucky enough to go on any trips here at Gallatin? Yeah, one time we went on, we went to Frank Randolph for two days and we got to do lots of fun activities, learn more Welsh and explore. And Zara, one of the main differences in primary and secondary is the moving around. Do you enjoy moving around from class to class? I do move around from class to class because it is a bit of a period of an activity where they can sit down for a while. And how were the teachers here at Gowerton? They were really helpful and supportive and they wanted us to do our best at the time. Okay, Tennessee, what did I know the team at Corona and the rest of Are you a member of any sports teams in school? Uh, I do not feel very much. And is rugby a new sport to you or something you've always done? Um, I didn't do rugby in primary, um, but I started doing it because all my friends did it and then I started to enjoy it. I think the girls rugby team are doing really well, aren't they? Yes. yes. Now, to, um, Ethan, being a team level and the ski and the rest of what do you think about teaching and learning here at Gowan School? I think the learning in Gowan is very good because all the teachers are very enthusiastic to help you learn, especially around drama, art, and music. And in Gowan, you do a lot more of that than you did in primary. And also with collaboration and teamwork, you do do a lot of that, especially in art, drama, and music as well. Do you think that's helped improve your skills? Yeah, it's helped improve my teamwork skills very much. Dario. Now, Takara, um, you came here with a small number of people from your primary. How did you feel, first of all, about starting with Gallatin? Um, I was a bit nervous because I didn't have anyone to go to, so. Um, so we went to the canteen and we just um, we sat down and like the teachers let, let us have a like a talk with um, all the other pupils. And do you think that you've um, made new friends and settled in well now? I think I've made lots of new friends and that I've settled in very well. Now to Oliver, be you talking about high? Answer Kinyo at Answer Eggle. What do you enjoy about Lunchtime and Brigden? Do you enjoy the extra space we have here to offer at Gowerton? Yeah, we've got quite a big like, area to go around and like, to a few friends and play sports like football, rugby, or cricket, Mr. Jones. 
Yeah, and there's rugby and tennis school beside lunch, I think, with Mr. Um, Mr. Mason? Yeah, Mr. Mason. So plenty to keep you busy at lunch and break time, yeah? Yeah. And last thing, now you Gofal. My Gofal is a really school. Gofal is a really important place in school. Can you sort of let us know what are the reasons to people use Gofal for? Um, if they're ill, uh, if they're upset, or if they're worried. And I think Gofal are very supportive and really helpful.